Hi, this is Roger Conrad. I'm editor of Utility Forecaster. Uh, what I want to talk about today are a couple of things uh, that we're seeing as earnings are coming out. One is that, and of course the most important thing, uh, is that numbers are coming in very strong. Uh, that recovery that we saw in, in earnings and in sales and profit margins and so forth, uh, dividend coverage ratios that we saw uh, taking shape over the past few quarters, definitely playing up again in the second quarter. Um, if you look at the electric companies, uh, industrial sales, particularly uh, with our favorites, which are headquarters in parts of the country uh, that are uh, growing the industrial base, such as the southeast, um, industrial sales coming back, and that's a very important indicator not only for uh, revenue, but also for um, the health of the overall service territory of the utility, uh, which affects so many things from uh, the, the status of rate cases, uh, what sort of uh, uh, investments companies can make, um, and, uh, and as well as regular uh, or ordinary sales and, and uh, financial me other financial measures that are more near-term side. So these things have been coming in very, very positively. The second thing, though, that uh, the second takeaway so far from earnings season is the continued uh, amount of pessimism that I think we see um, gener on the part of investors. And uh, this is manifesting itself in the fact that even though we have good numbers and we've seen some uh, stock prices climb at, with those numbers, their, their response has generally been fairly muted. Uh, and particularly if you consider the fact that uh, there's been an overwhelming pessimism on the longer term, uh, particularly in the, in the power sector, regarding where prices can go, where demand's going to go, and so forth. So um, these great numbers, again, not matched by uh, positive sentiment. In fact, the sentiment remains fairly gloomy. Um, you know, some of this is being fueled by the managements. If you read uh, the conference calls or you tune into the conference calls, uh, and you see the kind of cautionary uh, bent these companies are, are, are putting on their numbers and, and cautionary, you know, looking out, although by and large, again, sticking to uh, forecasts and in fact increasing many of those forecasts, uh, you know, but uh, you can see how this language is then being taken to be, uh, you know, put a sort of a dour spin on things. And I think this is partly because these are very conservative managements. And if you look at the people who took over these companies in 2002 in the wake of the, the crack up in the industry then, uh, they take a conservative line on where they put their finances, what sort of investments they make. I think that's an awesome, I think that's an incredibly uh, good thing for investors. Uh, but uh, it, it, again, it does kind of tend to mute the, the share prices. Um, you know, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal this week uh, regarding utility earnings, and in fact, the, the title was uh, "Utility Earnings Sputtering." Um, and they quoted uh, several uh, uh, CEOs. Uh, you know, again, putting something of a cautionary tone. It was interesting to see the numbers that they used, as they really couldn't come up with uh, companies that really had what would, what I would call sputtering uh, earnings. Uh, but again, if somebody, just a casual reader looking at this, uh, and uh, I think, you know, if you look at a popular newspaper like the Wall Street Journal, they tend to reflect investor sentiment. Uh, you really get the picture that, again, good numbers and still very cautious outlooks uh, on the part of investors. And so, again, very low valuations. I think this is actually a very positive uh, read, and it's one reason I, I remain pretty bullish on the sector. Uh, I think when we get high expectations, you have the opportunity to uh, not meet those expectations. And uh, then, therefore, uh, the, the potential for lower prices. We have the exact opposite in place right now. We're seeing the economy Im improve gradually. Uh, power demand is improving. As I mentioned, the industrial sector is good for pricing. Um, and we see this across the board, uh, and particularly with, with the stronger companies. So, if anything, what we're seeing is uh, confirmation on why you need to be uh, in these stocks and we continue to recommend uh, the best of the best um, in, in Utility Forecaster. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll look forward to speaking with you next time.